Guys, today's video is about the little modification I did to this beautiful camera cage so I can fit the G85 in it. And I guess it's the cheapest and best solution uh, to get a proper camera cage. So let's get, let's get right into it. So, and this is the lovely camera gauge, fully built together. It's the newer version, like newer is the name of the company, for the camera A7 um, or GH4. And you see it comes with those rods where you could detach the pull focus. Here you mount the camera with the screw um, to, to build through. And here is the, the handle, you know, for holding the camera. But what I really don't like is that this is really unstable. You cannot really put it down on the table so easily, especially if you have the camera mounted. But here you have the adapter plate for the Aka Swiss mount, so you always have to have it. Since I will never use those rods, to be honest, like or not, not in the near future, because I'm usually using the Panasonic um, native lenses, I don't need the pole focus and I don't need uh, some, some lenses and the lenses which I'm going to attach like to be sterilized. So I'm going to use it like this, but this is super annoying. Why do I have to carry all the time this stuff around? But the thing is, if you unscrew this, um, you have this massive screw and you really cannot put the camera down at all. I will show you how it looks. Well, this is how it looks when you just screw in the camera and um, use the screw. You really cannot put it down, it's always like sideways or falls to the back, it's, it's really bad. And you're also lacking the Aka Swiss mount, so I cannot attach it to a tripod so easily. So it's really inconvenient. And another thing, the G85 camera doesn't really fit in this cage. I don't know if you see it, you cannot open the battery door at all. So it's, it's just two centimeters too much here. Yeah? Or two millimeters um, and this is why it's really bad so I was like firstly I wanted to send it back but then I kind of modified modified this camera rig slightly so what I did is I let me take out this screw what I did I drilled a hole in here and widened it so it became like an L shape let me check the camera if you if it's possible to see it. What I did is I got uh, another another plate like for for Aka Swiss mount. I had this one for for another purposes. You can get any other plate for instance like this. It's like eight euros on on Amazon. I will I will put the link there. And I ordered as well a longer screw. So this screw is much no it's longer than this one and goes through there it's like um, i got them on ebay pretty cheap it's uh allen key and about two millimeters of of screw here and um, this one goes through this beautiful hole here and i aligned this plate with the back and I always tighten it very carefully and then it looks like this you have this beautiful adapter plate and you can set the camera now down and it stands and it's, it's great and another nice thing is you have access to the battery and that's super important you know otherwise you cannot really use this camera cage well and that's about my uh, my modification so just drill a hole inside of, of this shaft uh, make it to an L shape and you can attach like a, a big adapter plate or, or like a smaller adapter plate for Arca Swiss and you can get, set the camera down and you can for instance put the camera very fast on um, a table tripod for example for instance which is super handy or on a monoport or whatever. Um, yeah. That's about it.
And that's the camera cage.